Oh, that got their attention. What is there, nine in there? Yeah. Nine new ticks. A week or so old, so. Come August, that's more, more egg lighters going. Oh, there's where I left my coffee cup. Hi, I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. Our family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Today is April 7th. And it was only 20 degrees when I started the truck, which we did not plug it in. Probably should have. A bit of a rough start, but there's a lot of snow left. They say spring is coming. Actually, today I think it's supposed to get up into the 40s, maybe? Low 40s, upper 30s, and then I think in four days we may actually have a high of 70. So that's kind of wild. So we'll see what happens. That'll make everything really sloppy messy. We need to do some serious bird removal over at the West End. Alright, well the, the oil drains out of the teal truck. Um, last thing we did with this was we ran a little bit of diesel fuel down in through the transmission to help kind of flush it out. Um, so I'm gonna run a gallon or so of hydraulic oil through it now, or transmission fluid, flush that out, flush any excess diesel fuel out of there, and then fill it. And we found a guy that is willing to rebuild the transmission on this. So uh, we're gonna try and get it filled up, get it out of here, get it to his place. Just like the handiest tool in the shop for me. Some people would call that short people problems whatever looks good to me all right got the transmission and the road grader filled back to work on the teal truck changing oil pull some filters off put the plug back in i already poked a hole in the bottom of these filters so Shouldn't be much of anything left in them. That, and it's been sitting here for 45 minutes. So all I did was take the cap off the oil jug, put a splash of oil in it. I was sitting in the office in there, eating my lunch. I just basically finished changing the oil in the truck. Got a blinker light to work on. Anyway, I walk out of the office and see all that under there. It's just snow melting off and ice melting off from underneath, but you wanna talk about a slight freak out moment? Well, uh, Tim's been having all the fun out in the shop here. I've been doing office work, feeding cows, different things like that. 
We did put all these shrouds back on on this road grader. Tim's got all the oil from the transmission. And I'm gonna take it over to the repair shop to get this transmission figured out. My guess, Tim, what have you all said about this road grader? What have you all said about the road grader? Just that we found a bunch of fibers from disc clutch discs in the yeah, in the screen. So yeah, for figuring all the screen, it's catching all that stuff that's falling off those discs. Those discs are all shot. Seems to be a trend with John Deere road graders of this vintage that those clutches will fail and then they just fall off. All the gears still work. It just well actually reverse is starting to go, but we figure that's hydraulic pressure because when you shut the Shut it off, let it sit for a while, and it'll start going again once it builds hydraulic pressure. The gauge shows low pressure on the dash, so I'm gonna get it all washed up. We got a guy in the neighborhood that wrenches on stuff. He's gonna do the transmission on this, because basically what I've been told, it's a 4430 John Deere style, vintage kind of transmission. I don't know, it's definitely the same thing with the inner workings compared to that. So he's done a lot of John Deere work in the past. Oh, that's a lovely sound. Woo! Shut the heaters off. All right. What do we got here? Anything, anything yet? What do hydraulics work? Oh, we got a little pressure. but no transmission oil pressure. Yeah, reverse is definitely not working. Wildcat to the rescue. checked the rear axles oil so bust through these two and the transmission real quick this is another one of those like super he-man type plugs oh my oil's coming out yeah so it's down in there a little bit but not bad a lot of oil in this? That? In this? Or? That's your Addy. Yeah, it, well, I mean, I could. It was maybe here. Oh. It wasn't super low, but it was low. Yeah, I mean, I touched it pretty easy with my finger without digging down in there. So. We're there. Oil's been changed, topped off. Both rear ends took maybe a gallon of oil. Doubt it. Probably not that much. Um, transmission was fine. Just needs a bath now. Light's fixed. The light in the door, which was another one I don't think I mentioned, but it screws rattled out. Got it back together. I think it's bath time ish but trailer's already sitting outside and uh so i'll just start washing on it tony took off with the road grader i have to go pick him up so i'll probably just start on the trailer get as far as i can until he messages me and says come pick him up leave this sit in here for a little bit oh i gotta grease it i haven't greased it yet so i'll start washing on the trailer and i'll start greasing it greasing is more important than cleanliness technically Greasing would be closer to godliness than cleansliness would be close to godliness. I'll grease it. What do you do when you take your road grader to a local guy to have it fixed? 
Well, you wing the snow off of his driveway so that uh, he can get his road in better shape a little quicker. Then you have him work on it. That gonna cost me twelve grand. That's my guess. I'm thinking somewhere between ten and fifteen. But what else do you do with a good motor, mostly solid blade and pins and everything else? Put new tires on it and go. Yeah. <laughs> Could just keep on pulling that screen, I guess, and putting hydraulic oil in it until it completely quits. But then you'll spin everything out of place in that transmission. Oh well, he said a couple weeks. Lucky that he didn't have a line of other projects in front of it. So by the time the roads are drying out to blade, I'll probably have it back. Well, it's Easter Sunday. We've been having a little fun outside. And then the snowmobile came out after the Easter egg, Easter egg hunt, so. back on a wonderful Monday morning not too badly covered in diesel fuel changed that fuel filter which is the water separator filter and the primary fuel filter down there because my vacuum gauge was in the red for quite a bit um, even sitting at an idle it was at the bottom of the red so it was getting pretty close to bad anyway changed the main can you see me in the light now? Woo. Changed the main filter first. Didn't change a whole lot. Changed the water separator. And that did the trick. That kept it in the, I'd say green, but it's actually white. So it kept it in good shape. Anyway, now I'm working on this bottom step. It's from vibration. I think this clamps on. And I still have enough to clamp to, but Rust! Trucks are dumb! So I went ahead and took it off. We'll clean that up. And, um, yeah, we'll clean it up, put it back together, go from there. So, still working on this. Uh, this is the last thing I have to do on it, other than wash it and then kick it out the door. Here's a trick that I'm learning. 
can you crawl underneath of something oh I don't know for example a trailer don't look at stuff just grease it and go I gotta go find a couple bearings Sure looks pretty sweet after a good bath. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button down there, would you please subscribe? Kind of, uh, kind of in a lull. Haven't had a lot of new subscribers lately. It's really dropped off. So if you wouldn't mind hitting that if you're watching this, because I know like over 45% of you aren't subscribed. Shame on you. But I would appreciate it if you subscribed. Don't forget, farm hard, pray harder, and we'll see you next video.